Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna paint the Colo Grouper and we're starting right now. Alright guys, so I got my swim bait here. I cannot remember the make and the model of this lure and I tried to google it but I can't find it so I don't really remember what kind of swim bait this is but it has a really great action and I want to put a different color on there and so I sanded the entire thing down this is a wooden swim bait so it was really easy to just sand down take the paint off and everything I put one coat of wicked opaque pyro orange on there then I coat the entire lure with UVLS 4050 then I drop the glitter on there and the UVLS is actually to glue the glitter on there so when it dries the glitter is gonna get stuck to the surface of this lure when that was dry I coated it with one coat of epoxy sanded it down a little so we get an even surface again coated it again so we get a nice thick layer to work on and now we're here so as you can see I also took the bait apart this just makes it easier for me to put the epoxy on you can also leave it in a hole and uh, but then you have to be more careful with putting the epoxy on because you don't want the epoxy to go in in between these joints so this way it goes a lot easier and a lot faster for me to put epoxy on there so I got wicked white in my chamber right so next up is there are some coral groupers that have some really dark green on on, uh, on their body and I really like that actually I think it's really cool you also got the ones with just plain orange and blue dots on there and not really any different colors but I really like the ones that have a little bit of green here and there so if we look at my reference picture that I have of a coral grouper you see there's a little bit of green on the head and we're gonna start with that so we're gonna put these aside we're gonna take the head I got Wicked Detail Moss Green in my chamber, mixed with a little bit of 4030 and 4011. Now when I'm painting more realistic fish patterns, then I also, I also like to uh, use the, the rule of the two or three shades. So that means now I dusted on Moss Green on there and it's quite dark as you can see, but it's not extremely dark yet. So now I'm gonna go over that same pattern but from close by uh, using that moss green to darken up a patch within the color that I dusted on there. So I create a two tone of moss green there. So I just put some random dots and, and some shading on there. So as you can see that gives more depth and more realism to the lure immediately in this case two colors is already gonna give a lot of depth a lot of realism to it so I just dust on the pattern first and then from close by I make the pattern darker in between the color that I dusted on there so that gives a really realistic feeling to it I can see on this reference picture that the gill plates also have a lot of green on there And I'm also making the gill plate a little darker or else if we wouldn't do this this line would cover the gill plate and then we don't get a sense of depth in there anymore because we took it away. So by darkening that line of the gill plate again we're getting a sense of depth in there again. Right so now the next step for a coral grouper is we're gonna put on the black spots first. So if you look at our reference picture there you can see that the blue spots are actually on a black background so it pops a little bit more and you have that little dark surrounding around that blue spot so we're gonna line out our spots first with black and we're gonna do this with an airbrush because if we airbrush it on then the spot is gonna fade out towards the, the outside of the spot if we're gonna put it on with a brush then we're gonna get crisp edges it's not gonna fade out and I do want that black to fade out a little bit so that's why I'm gonna put every spot on there with an airbrush alright guys so we got our black spots in place and that was a hell of a job but we got it done it 
really starts to look like a coral grouper now. So this is really exciting, it's gonna be really nice. Now for the blue spots on top of those black dots I'm gonna use a little paintbrush because it's gonna be way easier, way more control and we need an opaque spot on there so a brush is a really good tool to put opaque paints onto a lure if you want it to be very detailed and in very specific areas. We're gonna use Wicked Opaque Daylight Blue. The new Wicked Opaque line is really super good for coverage in terms that when I put on this paint onto those black spots it will stay as blue as it is in the bottle. It's not gonna lose any color, it's not gonna darken because of the black underneath because the coverage is so well this is gonna stay blue. And that is exactly what we want in a coral grouper pattern that bright blue onto that black. Alright, so the blue spots are done, it's all dry now. And now we're gonna put on a fin. These fins are quite orange, but they're a little bit transparent too. So I'm gonna take this stencil, this is a large natural fin stencil from Lure Blanks. Now I already got Wicked Opaque Pyrol Orange in my chamber, and we're just gonna do the inner side of our fin. And now we're gonna do the fin beams. Right, so now I got some Wicked Opaque Bismuth Yellow Venadate in my chamber. It's quite thinned down, so it's a little bit more transparent and we're just gonna build up a little layer on the beginning of our fins so that becomes a little lighter. So now I took some detail sepia and that is, I'm gonna brush that on just a little to create a little bit of more distinction between the gill plates and the body. And as you can see now we created a little bit more depth in our gill plates again so that they stick apart from the, the body which is very important if you want a more uh, of a realistic lure. Right, so now our lure is almost finished, we're gonna glue in our eyes. These are two glass bead eyes from Lure Blanks and these will fit this lure perfectly. So now we're gonna put a clear coat on this one, assemble it and then our lure is finished. Alright guys, our lure is finished and I gotta say this lure is beautiful, it's amazing. The glitter shines really bright from an orange to a green and then with the blue dots that really stick out, that is just amazing. Also the moss green on the back is still transparent so some glitter shines through when it hits the light. This is one shiny coral grouper. I really love how this one turned out. It's beautiful. Now there's only one thing that I would do differently on this lure and that is next time I would make the spots bigger. I think that's gonna give more contrast, it's gonna stick out a, l a bit more because now I feel like there's 1000 small spots in there and it just doesn't grab the attention as I want it to on the lure. But overall, I am super pleased with this lure. It was really fun to paint this pattern too. I do like how the fins turned out like a little bit transparent. You see, you still see that blue spots shine through. I went a little heavy with the yellow. Next time I have to do less yellow. So it all feels a little bit more natural. A little bit more transparent again. And the back, I'm really happy with the moss green on the back. That is really looks very natural really like that as always i will leave a link in the description below for all the materials that i used for this lure don't forget to click like and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below thank you guys for watching have a nice day and bye bye